me again. I'm here at the Great Bay Discovery Center, and today I'm going to be talking about the Red Fox. Now, I've already done one about the coyote, and the Red Fox is one of the three species of wild dogs in North America. The other two, of course, are the wolf and the coyote, and most red foxes are red, but they actually come in at least three different colors. There's red, there's silver, and there's the mix between the two. And what's, what's interesting is red foxes actually don't turn all red until they're six months old. And their sense of smell is 30 times better than ours. And there's, there's many different types of foxes, like there's the red fox, the gray fox, the bad-eared fox, the arctic fox, and the smallest dog in the world, the fennec fox. It's even smaller than a chihuahua. And foxes can live almost anywhere. In the country, in the rainforest, and in cities. They're very adaptable, and they're pretty smart too. Which is why we sometimes hear the term, sly like a fox. What does the fox say? Now, foxes are dogs. They're in the dog family, but there was a split in the dog evolutionary family tree. Dogs, wolves, and coyotes went one way, and foxes went another. Now they're so different, they hardly recognize each other, which would explain why foxhounds will sometimes hunt foxes in fox hunts. And like I said earlier, the fennec fox is the smallest dog in the world. I think it's only like four feet, it's only like two feet long, a foot tall, weighs about four pounds. Compare that to the largest dog in the world, the English Mastiff, which the largest English Mastiff ever, named Zorba, was nine feet long, four feet tall, and weighed 430 pounds. But what's interesting is the fennec fox has proportionally the biggest ears of any animal in the world in proportion to its body size. Its ears are 40% of its body length. That means a fennec fox that's two feet long has ears that are, I think, 9.6 inches long. If we had ears that were 40% of our body length, it would be like the average man having ears two feet and 4.8 inches long. That's twice the size of our feet because the average human foot is 20% of our body length. And what's cool is our ears grow about an 800th of an inch each year. At that rate, we'd have ears like the fennec fox if we lived for 23,040 years. Now, like I said earlier, foxes sometimes get hunted by foxhounds. You know how you see in, on shows and stuff where people ride on their horses with their foxhounds leading the way? That's because foxhounds are actually trained to go after foxes or anything that even smells like a fox. So if you smell like a fox, they'll even go after you. And I think that might be why they're called foxhounds. But foxes have five easy ways to outfox a hound. I'll tell you them all right now. One strategy the red fox uses is to run down a section of fence. This sometimes causes the hounds to lose the scent. That way, the hounds will lead the hunters over the fence and not along it. Another way that foxes trick dogs is to run back along their own trail. Then they hop off. The dogs get to the end of the trail, can't find the scent, and get confused. Meanwhile, the fox makes his getaway. Yeah. Well, which way do they go, George? Which way do they go? Another favorite trick of the fox is to run through a whole herd of livestock. That way his scent gets lost among all the cow smells. The best, the best foxhound losing strategy is to run into the water. If the fox travels up or downstream, he can come out, continue running, and the water would have washed away his scent trail. And the fifth way is what the gray fox does. Fox hunters are not interested in the gray fox. The British didn't like hunting them, and the reason why is because of one little habit they have. Gray foxes can climb trees. That drives the foxhounds crazy. It also takes the fun out of it for the fox hunters who like the chase to go on and on.
That's it for today. I'll see you next time on another episode of Ben's Wild Adventure.